So, I've redesigned this module here. Right now it's handling a kind of a neck tilt. It rotates along here with a sort of a node up around this point here. It sort of facilitates the neck to bend from that point. But I'm gonna redo this with this here. Still in the process of putting this together to control some, some shoulder motion. So I'll just take that out of there, put this in. This is a little bit taller than the previous module. Got two motors in the front, two in the back. Quite a small motor, uh, planetary gear on the front of it, about five to one. Got these uh, shoulder caps here. Got all the wires routed out of the back here. So I don't forget them, I've color coded each motor with a... Uh... So the idea with this, this is the, uh, imagine this is the, the shoulder here, there'll be uh, some silicone on top of this. Now this thing should be able to move up and down, something like this, and also tilting back and forward as well. So these motors I got here are rated at about uh, 16 newton centimeters, I think. And I've got them geared 5 to 1, like this. So I should have no problem at all lifting, I don't know, 5 or 6 kilograms here, especially since I've got two motors actuating it. I'm not really thinking of putting an actual arm on the, the thing. I'm, the overall design, I'm thinking, is head, torso, and I want the shoulders on there for articulating and moving around, mostly just for the expressive uh, power that you get out of that. There's so many different expressions that involve moving shoulders around. Don't really need the arms at all, but uh, shoulders would be good. Okay, here's one of the back motors. Got a blue marker on here so I can keep track of that. Need to do some crimping for these end bits. I'm going to be using this arrangement here with the positive on the outside and the negative on the inside. So I've got that set up now here. So I need to work on the control logic a bit. They're working well enough, but I'm having a few problems with the way things are fitting. So for now, I think I'm going to take the gears out of here. Use a kind of a direct drive arrangement for now. All right, so I've got three of the motors set up here, two here, this one here. They're all turned on. I don't have this one set up right now.
just testing with some random motions. So I've taken the planetary gears out of here now. So this is just using the uh, motors right on their own. So there's very little torque. Let's see if I can get one of them to skip. Some steps. Yeah, pretty easy. So definitely not going to be able to put an arm on this. But for articulating a shoulder that's going to have like a silicone uh, sheathing on it, silicone skin on it, should be totally fine. gone back to using this earlier head. It has no blink motors. Um, it's a bit simpler on the inside. But for now, testing out the rest of this stuff, this is fine. I didn't want to fiddle around with reconnecting this onto a new skull. It gets a bit complicated with the way the eyelids are set up. So here's the servo controlled component. Got our eyes moving around. And one motor for the mouth as well. It's not doing too much right now though. Okay, so here I've got the, the head motors going and the torso and the neck motors. I don't have the shoulder motors turned on. So right now I don't have a power supply that can deal with all eight at the same time. So we're gonna test out these four first. And here I've got the shoulders plugged in instead. They look pretty small, but there's going to be a, quite a thick layer of silicone on top. 